Hey what is up you guys it's Ed from TechSource and today I'm going to show you the process of custom painting your graphics card. Now I'm going to use my GTX 780 Ti as a demonstration here in this video but you can use practically any graphics card that you like. I'm also going to show you the process of disassembling the graphics card the right way so you don't end up damaging it during the removal and the painting process. So before we begin you will need a few things. You will need a screwdriver, a hex tool, some cardboard boxes or something equivalent some sandpaper and your choice of color paint. Also make sure that the sandpaper is in the form of a sponge or something similar that you can grab with one hand for easy use and you will know what I'm talking about later in the video. So the paint I'm going to be using is the Duplicolor Engine Enamel because this is basically the only high heat resistant paint I can find that comes in red. But you can pretty much use any high heat paint for your parts. I also listed some trusted paint brands in the description section down below if you guys want to check that out. So anyways once you have your tools the first step would be to carefully disassemble your graphics card before you can paint the parts. Here's a good time to figure out what parts you want to paint. You can either paint them all the same color or go with a variety of colors to match your theme that you had in mind. Start by removing the graphics card piece by piece. If you don't have a 780 Ti then just use your common sense when removing the screws. It's not that hard. So I went ahead and removed the four hex screws on the black pieces which surrounds the fan first and then moved to the other four screws right beside it. Next I removed the black screws with one being on each side of the card. After that I had to remove both of the silver plates that were keeping the parts together. Each side has two silver screws that needed to be removed. After removing all those screws I can finally remove the graphics card parts one by one starting off with the silver piece. Make sure you are very careful and try not to force anything out since you can damage the parts. After removing the silver casing and the plastic shield there are four small screws that need to be removed as well before I can continue. Using a small tip screwdriver I managed to remove all the tiny screws and lift up the black piece but not completely remove it yet since the logo is still inside. I just picked up something sharp and pushed the logo right out of it and then right after that I removed the final silver piece from the card and to do that I had to remove the two final silver screws that are located on the side. Now I don't know about you guys but this green logo is nasty and it does not go well with my build so I decided to do something about it. But before I do I had to disconnect it from the card to make my job a lot easier and this part is pretty tricky and it would be a lot easier with some pliers but instead I had to use what tools I had on hand which were two flatheads. With just enough force I was able to pull it out without damaging the card. Now once the logo is disconnected I got some sandpaper and started sanding off the green paint and this is very important make sure you are sanding the logo off equally so make sure to stop and check constantly and you know if you start seeing black spots on the logo then that means you are starting to sand off the white plastic and you don't want that. It's pretty hard to sand it perfectly but you won't really notice the minor black spots once it lights up. As you can see here from my second one I did sand a little too much near the bottom and it started to remove the white plastic but that's fine since I'm going to paint over it anyways. You can also leave them as it is if you are deciding to go with a white build. It is not necessary to paint the letters white since it will look great without them. So now that all the parts are removed it's time to paint them. I just basically laid them on some cardboard and placed the parts on it and applied one layer of coat equally from top to bottom on all the pieces. Now when you're painting your parts make sure to get all the sides and it is recommended to do at least two coats so the paint doesn't get scratched off easily. For the GTX logos I decided to paint them red so I figured an easy way to do this was to spray a flat cardboard piece and lay the logo face down kind of like a stamp and repeat it until all the letters are covered and to me it did turn out pretty good. So once all the pieces are painted to your satisfaction I would wait at least 3 hours before assembling the video card back together just so you don't end up smudging the paint off the cards as you put them back together. So here's what my cards look like after the paint job. I think they turned out great and these bad boys will look even more badass at night. So that's it for the quick guide on how to custom paint your video card. I hope this was somewhat helpful to some of you. And if you guys have any questions at all about the process, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them within 24 hours. This is Ed from TechSource and I will see you next time.